Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. And today on my video, I'm gonna show you another tip on Mastercam 2D. And the tip today is how we can do a facing tool pad on a face on a closed surface like this using counter tool pad. Okay. Normally with the, the surface like this, you should use the tool pad like the pocket facing, like this one. So this is the pocket facing with the zigzag option yeah and I'm gonna show you how we can use a uh, contour pad with the same motion okay you select a contour for example you select contour and select this chain we select this chain okay how about if we use the multi pass option Okay, for example, four of part with spacing seven millimeter, and one with seven. We keep tune the option. We have the lead in and lead out activated. Okay, for example six. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I select the wrong tool plane. Okay, okay. Bing. Bing. So, what happened when we select the multi pass? You can see we, we don't have a, a zigzag, a true zigzag like this one. It's different. You can see, you see the Zigzag and yeah, this is another kind of zigzag, but I don't want to, to get a tool pad like this. You can see tool go direct from here to here, from here to here. Yeah, we don't want it. So, how we can fix this? And, and the tip is in the cutting parameter, instead of select contour type V2D. You should select the RAM, okay. This is amazing, okay. And I'm going, um, I'm gonna select the plung option. And the RAM depth, you can input any value you want. It's not important in this case because you want to do the facing, not the RAM motion, okay. And delete in, delete out. We keep the same. And on the multi pass. We need some trick, yeah. Okay, I input uh, for example uh, seven pass, seven up pass, and one finish pass. And we select keep two now. Okay, let's see if any different. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, you can see we still have not get. A zigzag motion the tool is still retract okay let's change something all right the tip is in this case um, you should select the final depth here okay and let's check it again you can see a little bit different thing 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 oh yeah you can see the different the tool is still retract but you can see on in the last motion, in the last motion here, between the rough, the last rough part and the finished part, the tool only keep down. So we are nearly get what we expect. Okay. So do you guess what we should change? Okay. Instead of select seven paths of rough, sorry, seven seven paths of rough cut. I only get one pass of rough and change seven pass of finish and see what happened. Thing, 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 thing. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, we have a nice zigzag motion with contour tool pad. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> So, 
you want to do that, you should keep in mind something. First, in the control type, you should select the RAM option with the plug and the RAM depth is not important. For example, input 5 and on the multi pass, you should select uh, one pass of rock and multi pass of finish so you get a tool pad with no tool retraction. Okay. And remember to select the final depth here. And don't forget to check on the key tune down. And one important thing the top of stock must be equal to the depth. So we don't have multi, multi depth cut. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Alright. This is the tip for today. Very simple, very effective. Alright, thank you for watching. Goodbye.